those those big weapons down. He's got to you know re reaping the crystal or something like that, and get multiple three costs down in that first turn. That can be huge. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you see a lot of cards uh, that you see a lot in in uh, hero blue decks, like the guard, of course. Yes. Um, Mind trick that has been resurging recently, and uh, close quarters assault. So uh, keep an eye on those cards. Eric gets an Ancient Lightsaber on his mulligan there. Pretty good. Also an Ancient for Sam. And they will and roll out. Just two for Eric. It's going to be easily beaten by Sam, and Sam's going to go with Fort Anaxis. Interesting. So he wants the shields. He's going to have three shields to start the game. That's not nothing. That's right. And I didn't see what... That's Eric gets off of stolen intel, but we Have know he's got some real good upgrades. Oh, he's got both ancients. Both ancients, a handcrafted, a reaping the crystal, journals of Ben Kenobi, and a light bow. This could be a huge first turn for Eric. <laughs> All right, we get the handshake. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to see a journals of Ben Kenobi? loaded group of Jedis facing a 15 health Kylo Ren here. I feel like that's pretty close. I mean, Outside of lack of control, that's a pretty good start for Eric there. Absolutely. Uh, Upgrade-wise, I think Sam is running mostly lightsabers. Shoto, Heirloom, Crossguard, and Ancient. He's also got a Force Illusion in there. Or two Force Illusions in there. So Sam played a uh, Ancient Lightsaber on Kylo. And uh, Eric Ooh. decided to activate Ayla. Rolls out into two more money. I think in this kind of matchup, you always want to activate Ayla first. Yeah, if you get her special, it's good self-control. And uh, even if not, I mean, those two resources are going to give him some serious options. So Kylo's ability goes here. And I'm sure uh, Sam said blue. So yeah. he's going to be able That's to do smart choice. two damage to uh, <coughs> Ayla. It's the one disadvantage that... Uh, Eric is looking at here, that Kylo's ability is going to be very, very reliable. So, reaping the crystal. For heirloom lightsaber. For a one cost heirloom lightsaber. He's going to also be able to play either the light bow or an ancient. Although, I guess light bow, the better choice with all those shields that uh, Kylo's packing right now. So, Sam will play Trust Your Instinct to re roll and draw a card. He's going to re-roll into some damage. He's got three melee damage showing. Did you see what card he drew? I wasn't able to. I didn't see, no. Uh, Eric's starting been up a with some damage as well. Might have been a... Um, um, let me see. You can check the deck list. Get the a options. backup muscle, I believe. Double blanks on Greedo. Greedo's ability, kind of a fun one. When he's defeated, you can reroll his dice into the pool and resolve them immediately, if able. So he kind of gets one last shot. Very Greedo-like. <laughs> what do you think? Lipo? Lipo, you don't need to save the resource for anything else this turn. You have no control cards. That's right. Um, and that would be worth a lot if you can hit the special. I would say play the Lipo and maybe keep that Second heirloom? <coughs> oh no, it, it's the uh, it's two, two ancient lightsabers. Yeah, so light bow comes out. Yeah, light bow comes out. That's effectively uh, seven points seven of seven worth of resources. Worth of played. resources just for upgrades on uh, Eric's side. And that was indirect. Put on one of the padawans. Looks like unless he chose yeah. to guard uh, to uh, use did, guardian. That was not guardian there. Now he's guardianing mm. on the other padawan. I see. For one damage, it looks like. That was Greedo's two indirect damage. All right, so we get a one melee damage in a discard side. Going to sting to discard one of those ancients for a reroll, but I almost feel like you have to. It's it's a, it's a dilemma for sure. Um, you already have five, a total of five damage on your three characters. You might want to be... You what? You might want to keep those ancient lightsabers just mm -hmm. to heal. Um. So we'll see what Eric decides to do. We see more damage again on the on a Padawan. It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Yep. 
He's just got he's got really good potential to do some serious Ooh. damage. Yeah, yeah, especially that with that light bow special. Worth it. So the light bow special very worth it. Is is interesting because it has two specials, I believe. Yes, it does. And uh, the one we're looking at here is the one that says remove all shields from a character and deal three damage to that character. Deal two damage to that character if you remove the shield. Oh, yeah, Just yeah, deal sorry. three damage if you don't need to remove the shields. But in this case, that's a five damage side. Yeah. So starting with all those so shields. So worth it. Uh, yeah. Is negated, basically. Yeah, choosing Eric's battlefield and his plot did him very little. Saved him maybe one damage there. Mm -hmm. But yeah. hey, look. There's already five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Now, the, the nice thing is he can't always overwrite with an Ancient if he needs to heal up. That's He's right. going to be able to put out another... Is that six damage showing? Yeah, yeah. Total of six damage. Ouch. Eight on Kylo Ren here already. So Sam will claim uh, to make sure to start the second round. He does overwrite and immediately heals the Padawan, who was more hurt. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, uh, Kylo also has an ancient lightsaber on him, so not as close to death as he looks as long as Sam stays on top of that, which, we let's be real, he should. We know both decks are running Force Illusion, uh, which is a card that uh, <coughs> is very, very uh, interesting. I mean... Kind of scary, Ooh. not not aggressively, but two uh, cautions. Scary because he can keep your characters um, in the game for for so long, and I'm sure Sam is probably looking for one for for Kylo here. It's actually great great hand for Sam. Two cautions, a close quarters assault, lightsaber pull, and a flank. Unfortunately, or no, not a flank. Eric's hand is blue, so yes. Kylo will activate and. Sam will do that two damage from Kylo's activation. Kylo didn't roll any damage off the the activation, though. Yeah. And I got to think, if I'm Sam, I'm happy to let my uh, Ayla take some, you know, sponge some damage and keep these Padawans swinging away. All right, so Ayla will roll. And we get four indirect damage. For indirect damage, or if he needs it, he can always remove one of those dice and use a caution to protect one of his Padawans. Padawans. Mm -hmm. So discarding the handcrafted to re-roll. He's looking for damage yeah, for he's sure. He's looking to knock somebody out. He gets it, uh, but two not enough. Damage. Not quite what he was hoping to see. And now with that uh one Padawan having, with that one Padawan having uh, healed, it's now free to use its ability again and get a discounted upgrade if Eric can draw one. So what was played here? Oh, bait and switch. So Sam plays bait and switch uh, and shows four damage. And now he's looking at... Yeah, uh, that's enough to threaten the Padawan. And no Guardian for Eric because of the battlefield being claimed by Sam. He's got that caution if he needs it, though. He's also got Guard. He could remove one. Interesting. Going for Ayla, leaving the Padawan up. That's... Yeah, that's why. I mean, um, her her special is is her special is annoying. Is annoying. Uh, but now she can just do this. Yeah, yeah. She this that's when we see a lot with um, Blue Hero is those characters like Ayla or Ray uh, are very resilient and are very hard to defeat. And so um, I think he was hoping to. Just take her out right Just here. Just take her out uh, before round three. Um, fortunately, with caution and the ability to shield up, uh, this will be this will be difficult. Um, Sam has is sitting on a <laughs> uh, force illusion. There we go. He can heal um, by 
using the action on the ancient lightsaber. Eric also just lightsaber pulled an ancient back into his hand. Mm. So he's going to be able to heal Ayla up now behind those shields and keep her in the game even longer. Yep. He's got the cash to overwrite Journals of Ben Kenobi if he liked, or even just leave it. <coughs> There's a lot of damage um, on both sides, but um, we'll see who will be able to take and heal that damage. Two uh, indirect from uh, Greedo there. Yeah. Which isn't bad. It's still two damage. The Ancient doesn't go down on Ayla, though. It goes down for just one resource on Padawan, which is yet to roll in, and we'll get to uh, use that die, at least. Mm -hmm. right, so Sam will resolve the two indirect. And puts it all on the other Padawan. Third Padawan will roll. That's two melee, looks like. Two melee, four indirect, and one shield showing for Eric. Now, uh, we're playing with uh, with Eric's uh, Battlefield of Fort, Fort and Axes. Mm -hmm. And um, as we saw here, uh, Sam was not um, using the Battlefield effect um, on his characters. This might be because he's not, um, he's not aware or he doesn't really pay it. He's not paying attention to to this this effect because he he never plays with this sure, battlefield because he could have guardianed with uh, Greedo there. Yes, um, or maybe he was just looking for that aggressive play and get the damage as as fast as possible. There we go. Ayla special three on the handcrafted, plus one on the ancient. That's a pretty decent roll. Uh, people mentioning if Sam is running unyielding, those shields won't matter. However, he is not. So those shields are going to be. Quite effective. <coughs> Rerolling again. Discard and reroll for it more damage. More damage. Ooh. And Ayla can still swap one of those dice to whatever side he likes. Wow. Turn it to the other blank. Hey, look at that. And then and how much damage Kyla do we have here? Four and, and another one. Three on Greedo. Three on Greedo. This is looking real bad for Sam now. Mm-hmm. He's now really lost the ability to take one of Eric's characters out in this next round. And he, I mean, let's be real, Greedo is not long for this world. Ayla's got a Journals of Ben Kenobi. The upper Padawan has an ancient lightsaber, and the lower Padawan has a handcrafted lightsaber. So you mentioned uh, going for a... You know, heirloom, yeah, a heirloom, not handcrafted. Trying to attack a, um, a Padawan to defeat a Padawan as early as possible. That's fine, but if you <coughs> defeat the Padawan with the Heirloom, that Heirloom will redeploy to the other Padawan, or probably Ayla at that point. Yes. Um, and so you don't really lose much in, or do much uh, to the board state by defeating a Padawan. Yeah, I was thinking the uh, the top one. Oh, the, but the a, top one. At a certain one. point, he had four damage and three, three uh, sitting on that Padawan. That's right. So we have so two uh, range damage and a damage, shield. That's not going to be enough. Because mm -hmm. now those indirect sides on uh, <laughs> on Ayla's die is just as good as regular damage. That price of failure in <laughs> Sam's hand is not very useful. All right. So Still no more damage. Mm -hmm. Eric uh, feeling pretty good, I would wager. He knows with the you know, three characters alive and nobody really within range of being knocked out here, this is his game. The focus there can guarantee a kill unless he's got the control. Which it doesn't look like he does because he's going for rerolls. Yeah, you... Is that a cross guard special? Praying for damage. So that's a f total of four damage, I believe. Uh, with the uh, cross guard... Cross guards um, special. Yeah, I mean it could be more. Uh, you know, it could take all of Ayla's shields, so he could knock out Ayla here. But otherwise, yeah, two damage. And uh, Eric will play raise lightsaber on Padawan. Uh, we'll give the Padawan a shield, and we'll get another die in the pool. Uh, and that Padawan hasn't been activated this turn. Yep. So 
There's a lot of damage still coming. He's still got four rerolls if he needs it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're all going to have a focus to the two indirect side. So indirect, just in case he, there's a defender or something over there. <coughs> yes. There's a couple cards, and a I couple more cards that can stop melee or ranged than uh, indirect. All right, so uh, Sam will choose to deal two to the Padawan, the second Padawan, so he's out of the game. And that... Um, he gets, he gets to roll in yeah. that last die with Green's yeah. ability, but just with the disrupt showing, not going to do anything to save his bite, his bacon there. Mm -hmm. And Eric handling Kylo and Greedo there pretty dang well. Seeing why, yeah, even yeah. seeing why he runs Journals of Ben Kenobi, that gave him all that damage on Eric's side. That gave That's him the resources he need to ramp into the damage and take those guys down. But that was that was awesome wow. game to see here on the stream. Yeah, yeah, two absolutely. Two slightly less conventional decks that we are not going to see as much just due to the distribution of deck selection in our top cut here. Mm -hmm. um, congrats to Eric for securing another Absolutely. win. Absolutely. That was, that was brilliant. Uh, we are going to be back again before too long with yet one more game at 11.40 a.m. Central Time. So until then, take it easy, folks, and Thomas and I will be back. All right. Bye-bye.